In a world where nobody seems to be able to make a successful superhero movie apart from Disney, two of Marvel's former B-list heroes will be at each other's throats just a few months after DC's former two A-list heroes were at each other's throats. Steve Rogers continues playing hide-and-seek with Bucky, his emo super soldier on and off BFF from World War II. Tony Stark is an Iron Man-sized boner for government regulation of superheroes. Which isn't a bad idea if you think about the implications of all this wanton destruction of property and reckless endangerment of human lives. Yeah. And what is the star-spangled man's response to this reasonable legislation? Superheroes don't kill people, people kill people. Backed by Iron Man, the US government decides to regulate these lethal sons of bitches, splitting the Avengers between the sensible ones and the dumbasses. Next May, get ready for 2016's biggest comic book showdown, which in all likeliness will turn into a superhero bro-down. Starring Robert Downey Jr. as the $40 million man, Scarlet Bosom Son, Chris Evans' most patriotic jawline, and introducing Tom Holland as the Eensy Weensy Spider Tween. Captain America 3, Uncivil Avengers, minus Thor, coming never to a theater near you.